A thousand films made a year in several languages. Perhaps India's global calling card is its cinema. We've been talking a lot about the last hundred years as we commemorate that moment. But today we're going to uh, turn our attention to some crystal gazing and uh, look at the next hundred years and what we hope they're going to bring. Uh, Aparna Sen, let me start with you. And in the next, if not hundred years, perhaps even 10 years or 20 years, you'd like to see, or the films perhaps that you would like to make yourself. We can uh, now shoot uh, videos uh, on our cell phones, we can edit them. There are even film festivals that have, uh, you know, one minute films, video recordings, telephone recordings and so on. So the, uh, the horizon expands in a very big way. But that is not necessarily something that everybody will see or everybody will want to see. Um, for me, I'm still old fashioned enough to want both. I, I love the theater experience. I love the idea of my uh, films being uh, shown on the big screen. I love the tension that goes before it and the rumblings in the stomach and all of that. All of that is part of the excitement and I love it all. But um, at the same time, I also welcome the idea <coughs> of these very personal films because that is where, that is the area of experimentation which I think is absolutely essential because uh, that then expands the language of cinema. Otherwise, we are very stuck in certain grooves and um, that is not such a good thing. There are lots of points over here that need to be touched upon and I think I'll go back to the point Apana Sen made about new media in a sense transforming both the language of cinema as it's going to be made in the future and perhaps the way in which we're going to consume it. That's changed already. Uh, people are watching films on their mobile devices, on iPad, YouTube. on YouTube, on on their phones. How do you see that sort of changing your own work and the work of fellow directors, filmmakers uh, going ahead? What I am looking forward to the audience becoming empowered. You know, right now, uh, in India, everybody has two jobs. Okay, I mean, they had two jobs. One is the normal job and the other is a film critic. Um, so everybody is in India is very, very film aware. Okay, they know their films. It's not that they're talking uh, rubbish. They know what they're talking about. And similarly, what's happened with the advancement of technology, with the advancement of things like a mobile phone or a tab or a computer, people are also becoming technology savvy. Okay, so they're setting their own benchmark. Today, any of you can go and make a film and upload it on a YouTube. Okay, so you are setting benchmarks in your own head as to what you expect from other filmmakers because of this uh, playing field becoming less and, and smaller and smaller. The audience is much more aware, so we can get to play with different topics. You know, you're becoming more aware of different things. So today, if, if uh, Rina Dita is a Mr. and Mrs. Iyer or I get a pregnant woman to run around the streets in Kolkata, you are more willing to give it a chance. You know, initially probably you wouldn't have. Initially, we say, "Ho nahi sakta." I mean, only a man can do this kind the of. The producers thing. wouldn't come forward earlier on. Yeah. So, y the more you become empowered as an audience, the better it is for us. Do you, Shantanu, see only uh, the role of new media in this? Uh, the fact that it's a collaborative effort, almost, where uh, the audience also is almost engaged in uh, the business of. Uh, filmmaking, or is it also um, do do circumstances like say the rise of the multiplex um, and a certain democratization of filmmaking also add to this process? We are now on the threshold of the next hundred years, where as a music composer, I am extremely afraid, extremely scared. What's going to happen? Uh, because uh, really, we are in the um, worst phase as as far as music in role of cinema is concerned. Um, yes, new media, fantastic. I believe, however empowerment you give to people, mobile phones cannot replace movie theaters. It just cannot. However you empower uh, listening to uh, music on your iPhone, it cannot empower the joy of sitting and listening to Pink Floyd on stereo. Um, it's just that we need to both needs to coexist. We are so dazzled by new media, we are so enamored by this new thing that we forget the roots. And the point here in the next hundred years of cinema, you cannot cross the road without holding the hand of certain people. And only then does the next hundred years is safe. Otherwise, if you leave the hand, you're completely lost in this rally that we're seeing. I think that is very important. 
So do you see that as uh, directors, filmmakers, everyone who's involved in the business of movie making is standing on the shoulders of so many others before them? Altham is absolutely right that it has to coexist. Because, <clears throat> see, uh, when I was, uh, when I was, uh, when I began, one of the things I said is that I think it's a good thing that um, a certain amount of personalization is taking place. Which is not to say that um, uh, movies made at home on, on, uh, you know, on t uh, cell phones can replace uh, the movie-going experience. For me, it can't. I mean, I, I, loved, I loved the movie-going experience. But um, what happens is that it opens up doors for experimentation, which then informs the other kind of cinema as well. And this is a fantastic give and take, which is very good and very healthy. Otherwise, you get into a rut. Um, but uh, definitely the age of dig digitization has come. I mean, most uh, film producing, I mean, uh, negative producing companies, I think, have shut down. Everything is being done on digital. Now we're debating whether we should use Alexa or Red. Uh, that's the way we, we hardly, we don't even shoot our films on actual film anymore. So that is something that is Do you see new. that as a loss? Uh, or does, I it, see does that, it actually uh, give you more flexibility in, 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 in so many ways? I see, personally I see that as a loss. See, what happens is there is a certain fluidity uh, in, in, in when, you, when you use actual negative. There is a certain uh, velvety quality to it. There is a certain, you know, the, uh, you get the wonderful contrasts and so on. But that is actually just a factor of development. I mean, we are at a stage when digital media has not come there. But it will get there. It's bound to get there. You don't agree? Uh, I agree, and, but at the same time, you know, I'm quite excited by this new media. Because, um, um, like Rinadi rightly says, you know, uh, there is a lot of scope for experimentation. And there is a huge abundance of windows that are going to open up. See, right now we cannot forget film is actually also a commercial process. Film is a product. Somebody has invested money, we need to recover that money for that person. Okay? So no matter what film we make, there is a certain element of commerce attached to it. Now with these new windows, what happened? The creativity which you probably had to suppress for that commercial need, you know? Now you have that opportunity to go out and say, okay, this is my creative side of me. Uh, or that uh, intellectual Atlamo side of me, which uh, I can put out on this window, which is not very cost effective, which can be seen by other people, maybe appreciated as well, or, um, you know, plus I can make these two things. So I think in that sense, it's very exciting, you know, that. that is it a way of getting around the sensor boards as well, as some people seem to do? No, it would be a great <laughs> thing to be able to get around the sensor boards. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, yes, and I mean, yeah, you, you could. But th that was not the intention. The intention is to, uh, you know, you do your stuff. At the same time, if you're uh, using somebody else's money, you do that also. You know, so uh, uh, that's where I'm seeing new media as, you know, like it gives us a lot of scope. Uh, because as a filmmaker, my uh, job is to make the best out of what I have. You know, whatever the resources that are given to me, like what Rinadi does, or I do, or what Shantanu does, our job is to make the best out of whatever is given at hand. So be it new media, be it film, be it uh, iPhone or uh, iPad, uh, our job is to make the best out of it. And that's very exciting. But Shantanu, I'd like to go back to you know, what seemed to be a very deeply pessimistic view of uh, the d direction in which uh, the music business and the film business is going. Why is it that you believe that it's going to be sort of downhill from here? I didn't say downhill. Uh, we are downhill now. Oh, you're downhill uh, yeah. now. Okay, so but it's going up so, so what's it's, it's the way of getting out of uh, yeah, see, the first and then. foremost, I, do, uh, I, 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 be, I speak on behalf of writers and uh, music directors. We don't have the rights to the films that we do. Uh, what kind of nation does not give the rights to the people that they create? Uh, what hundred years are we talking about? The, uh, uh, this is just, media is one small part of it. Uh, we constantly bombarded by situations where an international forum, when you're sitting down, they don't want to talk to us because we don't have a copyright laws in place. Uh, uh, be, it, be it engineering, be it doctors, patenting laws in this country is not good. And media is going through uh, is hell because we don't know who owns and what. Uh, middlemen cannot own the rights for, for, for creativity. That has to be sorted out. If that gets sorted out, I don't have to do 10 films in a year. If that gets sorted out, I can choose good films. If that gets sorted out, 
my children can can earn uh, and have a have a pay off of the revenues which they lost out because i spent my house my time in the recording studio when i should have spent time of them it it's all linked so first status give them the right status i'm hopeful about the 100 years that it's going to happen once these basics are in place another important thing i want to say that uh, i just feel that if the government was not involved we keep on abusing the government for a lot of stuff that they didn't wrong i would say if government was not involved you would not have a shambhanikal you would not have a vidhuvan chopra you would not have uh, so many of the great directors of the country they put in the money they said you don't forget about the uh, the revenues are all these great films right from parinda to uh, these great films the shambhanikal none of them made money but they are all cult films they are all now in every institute that's taught so i think in the next 100 years i also see a definite important role of the government also to support fil support filmmakers which is not just based on demand and supply S art cannot be left complete to the market forces both have to coexist <laughs>